Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. This is the Samsung CF398 Curved Monitor. Let's open this up and see what it's all about. My previous monitor died on me, so it's time to upgrade with a much larger screen. Have a little warranty card, and then have the power brick right here, which we'll open up in just a moment. Here is the base stand. It's another portion of the stand. There we go. That's the contents of the box. To assemble the base, you're going to want a flathead screwdriver. Just slide this right into the groove. Flip this over and you'll see right here is where you're going to just screw that into place to lock it down tight. The bottom side of the monitor just has a simple hole that you're going to slip the base down into, just like that. Very simple and easy design. The back of the monitor has the power button with joystick for selecting the different modes. It's got the display port, HDMI, it has a headphones jack, and then also the DC in. So for the DC in, you've got the power brick, which you're going to use uh, this cable right here to plug into that uh, AC to DC converter. So that's done just like that right there. And then this will connect into the back of the monitor just like that. This monitor also comes with an HDMI cable. Looks like it's somewhere around four foot long. This is actually my mom's music studio computer. As you can see, the colors are nice and sharp and everything is working well. The monitor is curved and there are several settings you can access back here by pushing the little joystick. So, I'm going to press that in one time and you can see it brings up, you can either turn the power off, you can change the source, you can do the eye saver mode, or you can go into the menu. I'm going to click into the menu so you can change the Samsung mega bright level, the brightness, contrast, sharpness, color, upscale, HDMI black level. And we can also scroll down a little bit more, eye saver mode, game mode, response time, and picture size. There's the on-screen display settings for transparency, position, language, and display time. In the system, you can do FreeSync, Echo Saver Plus, uh, the timer mode, PC AV mode, source detection, key response time, let's see, uh, the power LED on, and then reset everything. And lastly, just some information here, 67.5 Hertz, it's a 1920 by 1080, and uh, that's it. Okay, and you can also turn off the monitor from this switch back here. As you can see, the monitor does have a curve to it. It's not super pronounced. I've used a 32 inch monitor that has more of a curve to it, but it is definitely nice to have that. It's a more uh, immersive feel than just having a traditional flat monitor. The stand is very basic. It does not have a left, right, up, or down. It's just stationary but it does seem to be big enough that it will not tip over. Uh, just make sure whenever you move the monitor that you also hold that stand because it will come up off of that. This is just a quick look at the Samsung CF398 curved monitor. The 27 inch version is available on Amazon for about $200. If you want to check this out, I have a link in the description down below. Thanks for watching Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.